Treasury Secretary Paulson has already spent more than $350 billion of that $700 billion bailout fund. Just last week, Secretary Paulson urged restraint in spending the taxpayer money, but tonight he's reversed himself again, as our Lisa Sylvester reports. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson warned Congress not to rush into setting up new banking regulations. If we do not correctly diagnose the causes and instead act in haste to implement more rather than better regulations, we can do long-term harm. But Paulson himself has acted with lightning speed, handing out trillions to banks and other financial institutions. $310 billion of the congressional bailout has already been distributed, in addition to $200 billion for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, $152 billion for AIG, $29 billion for Bear Stearns, and then there's $900 billion in loans from the Federal Reserve, on top of billions in new federal guarantees. The sums are just unbelievable. Three, four, five trillion dollars that goes where? What impact is it having? Why do we have to spend that money? Meanwhile, middle class families are worrying, how do I stay warm this winter? How do I send my kids to college? Nearly half of the $700 billion earmarked for banks has already been spent. Paulson told Congress last week that the remaining $350 billion he would leave for the Obama administration. But today, the White House reversed course, saying they may tap those additional funds before January after all. You have a situation now where if you have one more major bank or one ma more major financial institution that gets into financial trouble between now and then, I think they are going to have to tap into this money. As Washington continues to spend to save Wall Street, there are new calls for transparency and accountability. We really should be able to say what's going where. I don't think we can. In addition, there, there's over a trillion dollars of loans out from the Federal Reserve Board. And again, we don't know who's got those exactly, what they've put up as collateral. Billions of taxpayer dollars are being spent with very little debate coming from Congress. And Lou, we are talking huge sums of money here. To put it into context, $2 trillion is larger than the entire gross domestic product of Mexico or Canada. And some estimates put the overall bailout price tag at $5 trillion or perhaps even more. Lou? All right. Thank you very much, Lisa.